What's up everyone? Shin Godzilla 1987 here. Sorry for the lack of videos and updates and stuff, but uh, here's just a behind the scenes of uh, my workspace area, my editing area, and uh, a look at some of my collectibles and everything. Alright, let's take a look here. I was pretty proud of this scene right here. I used some clay to make the eyes on uh, Godzilla blink while he's walking. I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> yep, and this is where all the magic happens with the editing. I got a brand new editing PC last year. So much quicker than before. I'll just show you some of my collectibles and stuff. And there's the uh, Godzilla that I customized last year. I made him look like uh, the 50's version. There's some of my NECA Godzillas. Whole collection. A random Gauss there. I got a Red Sonia. Some other stuff here. Manga. Novels. My room. We got some Godzilla posters. A Mystique, One Piece, Attack on Titan. I'm a night owl, so that's why the uh, window's blocked out. Godzilla 85, some more One Piece, some metal. Some more collectibles here. Eventually, I want to use all these in, in projects. It's just... Uh, it's just, it takes so much time to do stop motion and video projects, but eventually all these will be used. Got some here. This is like my Gonagi anime desk for the most part. Cutie Honey, Devil Man. Some of my favorite animes. Some One Piece and stuff too. Scanner, let's see. Custom Miss Martian head that I did. <laughs> Some more posters. Shin Godzilla. One Piece. Sonya. My favorite comic book character. Let's see. Some more Devil Man. Lady Death. And I'll show you the man cave where I uh, actually do the filming. Alright, so here's the man cave. And I love my posters, so I'll show you some of the posters here too. Huge Gitter of the Three-Headed Monster poster. I actually had to put it together in sections. Godzilla 2000. Some Cutie Honey here. Mystique. Some Devil Lady, Magic the Gathering, a Chroma, One Piece, Nami, some Bleach, some more Magic the Gathering, some more Bleach, autographed by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, that was pretty cool, favorite actress, from Scott Pilgrim. And then yeah, here's the the man cave. It's a mess down here when I actually do the filming because I clear out everything from this table here and I put the uh, the stages and stuff and I set up all the buildings. It is hectic down here when once the filming starts. Ugh, it's just flipped upside down and I cleaned it yesterday. I finally finished filming on the, the next project. 6,780 photos. I couldn't believe I, I went that far, but, you know, it'll probably, the editing will probably be done in like maybe a few weeks to a, to a month. We'll see. I've been working so much more hours now. So, like, it's, it's hard to balance out everything together. Poster. I love posters. Ever since I was a child, I just would plaster everything with photos. 
I love this Godzilla artwork right here. One of my tattoos is actually, it's that artwork similar to it. Even in the bathroom, I got photos. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Another mystique. <laughs> yeah, I just love artwork and stuff. Uh, Miss Martian, Beast Boy, Samus. Here's some more collectibles. And then eventually, all these will be used. It's just, uh, it's a matter of time. I, I wish I didn't have to sleep. <laughs> But yeah, some of these collectibles I've had since I was like five years old. Like some of the uh, Trend Masters Godzillas. Like, yeah, that Space Godzilla. I don't know what I was thinking when I was a child. I like, I broke off like his horn and I painted him with my sister's nail polish. I don't know what I was doing, but I'm eventually going to customize him into a Super Godzilla. So that will be pretty cool. A Gigant, I painted him too. Yeah, I got, I got to recustomize him. I was a real goofball when I was a child. <laughs> yeah, just so many characters and stuff I've just collected over the years. Eventually, when I'm done with projects, I'll probably uh, sell some of them on my eBay. Oh yeah, and I'm a massive movie fanatic. I own like almost 1,800 films, Blu-rays, DVDs. I got, I still have my VHSs ever since I was a kid too. Yeah. A lot of collecting over the years. I think I started collecting DVDs in 2003. When I was in 11th grade. But yeah, I could do a whole other video on just films. A lot of these on this stack are horror. I went to this horror binging phase. And that's why I'm just kind of... I kind of grew out of horror films, to be honest. I mean, I still like some of the special effects and stuff. But and I went through this phase where that's all I watch. And it's like... Uh, I'm just... I kind of grew out of them. <laughs> the Showa Godzilla collection. That Blu-ray collection was awesome. DBZs. And anime. Mostly I have anime and I have like science fiction, of course, tokusatsu. You know, giant monsters. So many films. Let's see, we got oh, Major Makoto Kusanagi, Star Wars, Godzilla, Yu Yu, Elena from Street Fighter, my cheesy little YouTube sign right there, <laughs> some plushies, my workout bench. Here's some more collectibles. Got the big chap Xenomorph. Got some Star Wars ladies, L, Chandra, my favorite magic character. Some Marvel girls. Some of the main characters from my uh, Godzilla Destroyer Worlds. Stop motion. Akira, Tamayuki. This, this one right here I want to customize into a Miss Martian figure. That one, probably uh, Jennifer uh, Walters, She-Hulk. So yeah, I, I have so many ideas. It's just uh, the, the time it takes. But I'll keep chipping away. Here's some random little Godzilla miniatures and stuff. And Bandai Biolanti. PS. I don't really play video games much anymore. I just don't have the time. I still have my old one. I got like 40 video games, I think. I used to have way more when I was a kid. You know, Sauron, She-Hulks. <clears throat> the art art table, basically, for now. Oh, yeah, that instant tacky was so useful for stop motion. I wish I knew about it sooner. Keeps the figures uh, still. Some One Piece. I love that art style. DBZ. 
my magic cards. Yes, I have over a hundred decks, and I stopped. I stopped making. It's getting a little bit too much there. Some more artwork. The Giver, Mazinger Z fighting Getter Robo, City Hunter. Some cool Resident Evil artwork. This stuff right here, I'm not a hoarder, I promise. I'm going to customize it into like structures and buildings for more stop motion projects. And in that tub is like a, a bunch of the vehicles and more props like that you saw in Godzilla Destroyer Worlds Part 2. And then over here is where I do like my artwork and yet like the filming like I said. Laptop. I'm working on an art. I really miss drawing, so I couldn't resist. I, I'm not the one to, to do multiple things at once. I have to focus on one project at a time. But this one I was working on, Leone, from uh, the anime Akame Got Kill. I gotta finish it. Eventually I'll finish it. I love these dolls. These are phenomenal. They're really expensive, but really cool and detailed. Eventually, I want to do a cutie honey stop motion. I customized her to look like honey. And like probably all these other women, they'll probably be like her other disguises and stuff. I figured it'd be a sweet idea. It's going to take probably a lot of green screening, so I got to get better with green screening. There's a Digimon there. Some blank figures. I'll customize them to look like other characters. We got Akira, some Ranma, One Piece. And then here is my giant stash of figures. Yes, I've been collecting. These are all newer figures I've been collecting over the past like four years. Since I decided to start getting into stop motion and open up my YouTube channel. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a hoarder like I said, but I just have so many ideas. Yeah, like this Malboja, I want to customize that into another character. Eventually, all this good artwork takes time, so eventually it'll get done. And then here is like my minis that I painted over the years. Those are pretty cool. Back when I used to play D&D. &D, I loved customizing these. These were so cool to paint. Eventually I'll get another glass uh, stand. I'll probably put it in that corner when I make more props. And I'll put some of the figures that I keep from here inside the glass container. But like I said before, some of these... I'll probably just sell after I'm done with a with a project. Oh yeah, and then up here, Lee from Critters 2, the custom one I did with all the crites. I'll probably bring them back in a future project. Oh, maybe I'll have her fight gremlins too. I just gotta buy some more gremlins. Godzilla piggy bank. And then over here I got my Kamada Kun buddy. Goldfish and Pleco. I used to have another goldfish in here, but they didn't get along, so unfortunately I had to get rid of them. That's why he's a little beat up looking. Who would have thought goldfish would like fight each other? But yeah, that's Mr. Kamada Kun. <laughs> well, alright, guys. I'm back at it. I'm editing uh, the next pr big project, so, um, I'll see you hopefully soon in the next video, and I'll uh, keep you posted if anything uh, comes up. All right, this is Shin Godzilla, 1987, signing out. Take care. Bye.